So I thought I would share one of the products that I used when my skin was purging. Um, the purging process is just something that sometimes happens, I think, to some people. And I think people who already have adult acne are more prone to this uh, skin purging. And basically, when you start something like glutathione, especially if it's like, um, I guess, a higher dosage of glutathione or higher dosage of vitamin C or MSM, then your skin basically um, starts purging all of those toxins. And uh, it just looks like a lot of really, really awful just acne, like large pimples. I can't even say it's like really zits. It's, they're large. <laughs> they're usually large, red, you know, they hurt. And sometimes they can like stay underneath the surface. So it's like you'll have like a lesion on your face and yeah, you can't even like pop it. It's just, it's just there. And uh, this can last for weeks three to four weeks so um there's one product and um if you guys remember i brought this up in one of my other videos maybe like back in april or march and it's like um this marshmallow mask it's from bliss and um yeah this is just something that i bought off of amazon and i saw that it had marshmallow in it and i've seen online people use marshmallow in different lotions and things like that and it's supposed to brighten and so this one specifically because bliss has a lot of face masks this one specifically is bright and radiant whipped mask so it's like more of a whipped a whipped um texture I mean, if you use it as a mask all over your face anything that is below the surface like sometimes if you leave it on like for well, for me if i leave it on for like an hour or two hours after i'm done i'll notice that um like i'll have like little white heads everywhere it's like all that dirt it like pulls it up to the surface and so um doing it as a full mask is great it really helps to leave it on for one to two hours if you're gonna do it as like a full face mask um where it really 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 helps and why i'm making this video is because it really helps with overnight like if you're doing it as a spot treatment so overnight obviously i would not leave this on your face overnight like i'm um, all over your face but if you have like uh some of those cystic acne like if you see like it's underneath the skin and you want it to like break to the surface where like you have like the wider head then put this on it um and yeah, so you'll just have like little white <laughs> dots everywhere, but it really, really, really helps. Like purging when you're like just starting getting on like glutathione or MSM, like it really, really sucks. It's really frustrating. It almost feels like there's nothing you can do. Um, people say, you know, drink more water. And I think drinking more water is great, especially if you're getting some of those MSM headaches. A lot of people report having headaches when they start MSM. That is one of the more known side effects to it. And the only thing you can do is just like make sure that you're drinking a lot of water um so i have not had any of the msf headaches because i keep my water intake up pretty high um so if you're noticing something like that then just start drinking the water start drinking 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 and that should really really help you i i don't feel like it helped with like discouraging my skin from like having breakouts like those toxins that are in your cells like they have to come out some way and so for some people it's going to come out in acne bumps and you know for others it kind of shows itself as almost like cold like symptoms so some people feel really lethargic the first week they start on like something like glutathione or high amounts of vitamin c um some will actually like start sneezing and it's it's really weird how this detoxifies our body and just just what happens like, i don't know the whole thing is just really weird um I will say someone recommended this last year and I've been on it for gosh closer to probably over maybe closer 10 to 11 months now. This is Nitsoro and uh, basically it's an anti-dandruff shampoo. <laughs> you can use it on your face and so I've noticed that this consistently keeps the rest of my skin clear. So I can't say that this is going to help for hormonal acne or if you're just starting your glutathione regimen that's going to like help you not to have the breakouts. Trust me, those breakouts are like from inside of your skin um I don't, I don't know hormonal acne is so weird like there's a lot of stuff like that just isn't gonna touch it for a lot of a lot of people who have hormonal acne like you have to work from the inside out so you have to like start uh supplements or either things like recommended from your doctor prescriptions to really get that un like handled but this is for people like if you have blackheads uh whiteheads zits things like that um this just helps in getting like a fungal acne cleared up so you won't break out anymore on your forehead um i very rarely have anything on my cheeks um 
the last breakout I had on my cheek, it was a very, very large lesion. Like it was, it was huge and um, it was disgusting. But that was from B12. I just started taking B12 and I was taking like the droppers and yeah, my body doesn't really like B12. So I stopped that right away. But other than that, like this will help keep areas like this clear um but like the hormonal acne spots like the the chin um and well for even some people sometimes their hormonal acne can be like on the sides of their face but yeah you'll just see a difference in the whiteheads the blackheads and little zits and things like that if you use this but i highly recommend it i'm still using it i mean it's like a ten dollar shampoo and it has keto conazole one percent I don't know it's good stuff so if you have dandruff on your head you can use this but i just use it as a face cleanser and yeah i cleanse my face with it every morning and night and it helps so i like what it does <laughs> um another thing that i started taking and this is from soul Suticles, and this is like a essence um if you haven't like looked into the like 10 step korean routine i'm doing i think about seven steps so i'm not doing a full 10 but uh, essence is really really important in um, I guess just the whole routine and so you would put on the essence after you're using like your serums and this is after you use your toner so it's kind of like right in the middle but um, a lot of people saw just like brighter skin with this and I can say for the rest of my face and even now that my chin is starting to heal um, I can't say like I do see a difference and um, hopefully it'll last me a while I've only been on it for maybe two months now but I really like it so whenever this runs out i will be repurchasing so if i can't say as far as for clearing up skin well some people did say that it helped their skin um clear up but like i said it just depends on the type of acne you have um yeah if it's more hormonal acne then obviously you're gonna have to take some internal stuff but for the other types of acne um, stuff like this obviously and the dangerous shampoo can really really help so i hope this helps um yeah like when your skin is purging it you kind of feel helpless i know i did and you know there's some weeks where you just cancel plans you don't go out uh depending on like how bad your face gets and i understand it completely it's not fun but um if you want those lesions or those like cystic acne bumps to like come to the surface quicker definitely try this i can't remember how much i paid for it I want to say probably between 10 to 15 dollars and it's lasting me like a really really long time but as a spot treatment it's awesome and just put it on at night before you go to bed or if if you're home like for a couple hours like four or five six whatever put it on then too and um, you'll see by the time like you wash it off um more of the fluid will have come to the surface so you can either continue putting it on there maybe for a couple more hours and then usually like on its own it can like burst like when you're sleeping or you yourself can pop it. I know there's, you know, a lot of people say never pump, pop pimples. And then some people say, yeah, do it. You have to get it out. So it's just whatever works for you. Um, but for me, this was a huge help in getting those under the skin, huge red bumps up and to the surface. So then they could finally start, uh, yeah, just getting all that like pus and yeah, whatever else is in there out <laughs> so yeah i just thought i would share these with you and um like always everything will be in the description box and yeah good luck purging it sucks so bad